Here we go. Perfect! Trader Addie's is open for business. Trader Addie's? What's that? It's the name of my new store. Would you like to buy something? Oh, wow. There's just so many great things to choose from. Yep, there's something for everyone. What can I get you today? Addie, most of that stuff has no value, but I am interested in those Thin Mints. How much are they? Oh, you would like the Thin Mints? Those are $12. $12? Addie, that's like three times more than what the Girl Scouts are charging. That's because they're Girl Scouts and they can pass the savings on to you. I don't have that luxury. Okay, that makes absolutely no sense. I do have to charge you a convenience fee. After all, you don't have to go around looking for Girl Scouts. These are just right here. I'll pass. I think Mommy has some Girl Scout cookies in the pantry anyway. Hey, wait a minute. Where did you get those? The pantry. So you're charging me a convenience fee for something that was already in our house that I could have gotten for free. Yeah, but you would have had to walk all the way down to the pantry, and Mommy would ask you all these questions about the cookies. You know how it goes. Addie, nobody's going to pay anything for this stuff. Anyways, do you think shoppers just come walking into our room? Uh, just doing my shopping. Oh, a store! Oh, brother. Welcome to Trader Addie's. How can I help you? Ooh, what do you got? As you can see, I have many fine wares here in my shop. Ooh, so much to choose from. How much are those Girl Scout cookies? Twelve dollars, but since you look like a man with a lot of money, today they're on sale for fifteen dollars. Addie, how dumb do you think he is? Ooh, yeah, I'll take those. I hope this is enough. Please say this is enough. Thank you, and here's your cookies. Daddy, she literally just sold you your own cookies. Well, of course they're my own, Jillian. I just paid for them. Jeez. What else would you like today, sir? Perhaps I can interest you in this rare $100 bill with a picture of a penguin on it. Don't even tell me you're going to buy that, Daddy. That's obviously just a low-quality photocopy. Don't worry, Jillian. I got this. So, since there's a penguin and not a Benjamin Franklin on that $100 bill, I'm only prepared to give you $75 for it. Hmm. I was hoping I could get at least $85 for it. Oh, you drive a hard bargain, but okay. There you go, sir. I can't believe she's getting real money for this worthless stuff. Addie, is that a set of keys for my Mercedes? It's better than a set of keys, Daddy. It's a spare set, so if you ever lose your keys, these are right here. That is a pretty good idea. I mean, without the keys, the whole car is pretty much worthless. I'd guess that's worth at least $150. Here you go. Okay. She sold those car keys, but she'll never be able to sell those pictures she obviously just cut out of a magazine. Wait, is that a Google Home? And a fitness watch? And a set of Hot Wheels? This is the best store ever! I'll let you have all three for the bargain price of $50. Daddy, you do realize that those aren't the actual items, they're just images. Well, Jillian, we live in a very image-conscious society. Tell you what, Addie, uh, I have this whole box full of money. I'll give you all this for everything you got left. Money crate! Ugh. There you go. Since you've been such a good customer, I'm going to throw in this Trader Addie's shopping bag for free. Awesome. See, Jillian, I told you I'm a smart shopper. Thank you for shopping at Trader Addie's. Come again when you have more money. This is an outrage. Don't you feel any shame taking advantage of that foolish man? Well, Jelaine, I'd like to help you, but I can't hear you over the rustling of all this money. Hmm. 
Maybe I just need to beat Addie at her own game. There we go. Trader Jillian's open for business. Trader Jillian's, more like Traitor Jillian's, you stole my idea. That's called capitalism. Anyway, I improved your idea. These are all items that Daddy will actually need. Maxwell House coffee, Reese's peanut butter cups, a Creepshow magazine, and a DeWalt cordless drill? Man, you sure know your customers. Don't forget the Thanos mug, the Harry Potter figure, and the AAA batteries, all at our high, high prices. I don't know, Jillian. I think I separated Daddy from most of his cash last time, but may the best store win. I think we both know who has the best store here. Ah, a customer. I'm doing more shopping and I brought more money. I put it in a crate, now isn't that funny? Oh, hello, customer. Perhaps you will find some of these items appealing. Oh, um, hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's some nice stuff, I guess. I know you're overwhelmed with so many choices here. Maybe I can interest you in a complimentary Reese's egg. Only ten dollars. That's not what complimentary means. Uh, I'm really full. I just ate all these Girl Scout cookies. Well then, you're probably thirsty, so how about some coffee and a nice Thanos mug to drink it from? Only a hundred dollars. Uh, caffeine's been making me a little tense lately. I'm sorry, I'm just not drinking coffee anymore. Oh, well if you want to relax, how about curling up with a nice book? You know what, I think I actually have that one already. Wait a minute, is that mine? Yeah, Daddy, it's definitely yours. He's trying to sell you your own stuff. What are you going to do about it, Daddy? Oh, like you didn't just sell him his own Girl Scout cookies. Jilling, we've been through this before. They were my own cookies because I paid for them. Okay, minor setback. You seem like a handy guy. Perhaps you'd be interested in a cordless drill and some batteries. But wait, that's a 20-volt drill, and those are AAA batteries. Why are you even trying to sell me those together? Obviously, I know the difference between a 20-volt battery and a AAA battery. It's like a lot of volts. I just thought you could use these two. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm good on batteries, and if I get that drill, your mother's just going to want me to start fixing things around the house, and I just don't want to go down that rabbit hole. So you're telling me I have all this awesome stuff that's tailored for you, the shopper, and you don't want any of it? Boy, she's a pretty surly shopkeeper, isn't she? Boy, you gotta work on your customer service skills. Sorry, just give me the crate of money and we'll call it even. Uh, I better hold on to that money. Addie might be selling something really cool. What do you got, Addie? Well, I'm glad you asked. Do you like movies? Do I? What do you have? Let me take you down to my shop that I reserve for special customers just like you. Oh, well. Thank you. See, Jillian, that's how you treat a customer. I'll take you there myself. I better go see how this turns out. Whoa. Welcome to Addie's Movie Emporium. Whoa. This is the best collection of movies I've ever seen, and they're all for sale? Yep, only $30 each, or you can pay by the pound. She's literally selling him his own movie collection. Jillian, you're just jealous you didn't come up with the idea. Wow, you have such good taste. That's what makes my movie store extra special, that personal touch. Daddy, there's a reason you like all these movies. You chose them! Wow, I'm never going to be able to choose from all these. I don't think I even have enough money here. Do you accept a payment plan? Oh, of course I do. I thought you'd never ask. You know what? I'm done being mad about this. I'm done being furious over this. I think I'm having some sort of breakdown. And you're going to need a place to watch all these movies, right? Oh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. All these movies and nowhere to watch them. What am I supposed to do? Help me, Addie. I'll pay you anything. 
Daddy, say hello to your very own theater! <gasps> it's like a dream come true! We'll negotiate the financial terms later. Right now, I just want you to enjoy it. Shut up and take my money! <laughs> oh, my own movie theater. Hmm, now what should I watch first? Ah! That's what Ramen Man has. Lots and lots of ramen. Perfect. So that's how we open a store in our house. If you liked the video, even if you didn't like it, still click that like button. Be sure to check out the Baby Teeth 4 channel and the Jillian and Addy channel. They're a lot of fun. Hey, you like Instagram? Go follow Baby Teeth 4 on Instagram. We post new pictures, videos, and stories every day. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.